We're in the final stretch of the MLS season, the beginning of the 2018 World Cup cycle, and I have a new kitchen to do my videos in. I'm Jeff Ross, and this is the American Soccer Show. Deadass. Since I'm making this up as I go along, let's go ahead and do a top five list. So without further ado, the top five things I'm looking forward to in the next five days. Tonight, the U.S. Open Cup Final between Seattle in Philly. Who will lift the trophy? The town where I feel that I'm always just seconds away from being murdered, or Clint Dempseyville, USA. I'm going to go with Philly on this one, largely because it's their home field and they're all sociopaths. Of course, knowing how their front office works, despite winning this trophy, they'll still manage to fire their interim head coach, because, of course. There are four Champions League games featuring MLS sides in the next five days, but there's only one I'm paying attention to, and that is, of course, New York versus Montreal, the Battle of the Titans. Now, as many of you know, Montreal is at the bottom of MLS standings because they're terrible, yet somehow they're at the top of their Champions League group, and frankly, they seem like the type of people that could tell a brother where to get some good poutine. I've never been to Montreal, but I hear it's lovely, and they have casinos, so good for them. The last time New York played Montreal was at Red Bull Arena. I was there with Michael watching Montreal be terrible. So what's going to happen this time around? If you ask me, Montreal will win and somehow I will be deported. Saturday does have the Cascadia matchup between Portland and Vancouver in Portland. It's at 5 p.m. on NBC Sports Network, and if you're still in your day drunk haze from Premier League play, I say keep that buzz going. It doesn't matter. Your wife already left you. I'm predicting a Portland win 3-2 to two on a Gaston Fernandez game-winning goal. And I will have that Gaston song from Beauty and the Beast stuck in my head, so we're all winners here, really. But I don't live in Portland. I live in Brooklyn, which is basically the same place. So instead, my game of the week is actually at 7.30, and it's going to be New York versus Seattle. I might even go. I don't know. Maybe I'll drag Michael to it. I have no idea. Come see New York lose at Seattle's hands and Clint Dempsey dance on our proverbial graves. I said five things, didn't I? Well, here's the most important thing that I'm looking forward to in the next five days to see if I end up writing another one of these. I hope so. It really depends on if this goes well and if people enjoy it, but it could happen. See you in a little bit. I'm Jeff Ross, and I unironically drink Bud Light Limeritas. I should have I brought one with me. It's the middle of the day. I can't, can't be drinking in the middle of the day. I gotta, gotta keep some sort of semblance of responsibility and respectability. I, it, it's a thing, guys. You know, no one's actually here right now. I'm talking to literally no one. 